There we go. Now you'll be able to hear me. So here's fundamental problem 16. And um, so our job is to figure out what's going on at C. Okay. And um, so I've already kind of exploded the two pieces. Um, there's my bottom piece. And here's my side piece. And I think uh, let's just start with the, um, the L-shaped piece there and just kind of think about what might be happening with the forces. So the 400 is down, and so I'm just going to guess that we're going to have to have some kind of a CX, or sorry, CY right there. Um, now you can you see the 800 Newton meter moment. So that's like trying to twist it. And if the thing was free, if nothing happened at C, then it would pull, I think the whole structure would kind of pull around there to the left. And so I think we're going to need a CX this way. Okay. Now that's, um, that's kind of a guess. I don't know that for sure, but that's my starting point. Okay. Uh, then we've got the 800 here. And then the 400 is in here just like this. Okay. Then we're going to need, uh, I'm going to say that we must have some, again, it's just kind of a guess, a BY there. CX is to the right. So that means BX is going to have to be to the left, like so. <clears throat> okay. Um, <clears throat> and so... Let's just sort of dig in here and kind of see what happens. We'll take it from there. Um, let's start out by putting a pivot at this spot right here, which is uh, doesn't really have a, a label on it. Um, let's so I guess we'll call it a label. Let's we'll just go with um, oh, it's going to be too big. It's going to be too big. Get our moments going here. And um, so we've got the 800 in there, and it's a positive. So we want to make sure we write that in there. BY um, comes straight through the pivot point of interest, so it doesn't contribute to a moment. But BX does, and it's negative, so we've got, it's a distance of 1. So we've got 1 BX in there. Then the 400 is also negative, and also at a distance of 1. And I'm writing it like 1 times 400. Just So if I make a mistake, I'll, I'll know what, what I was thinking at the time. <clears throat> and then CY is all the way out there at 3. And it's positive, plus 3 CY. And CX doesn't do anything for us there. Okay? And so if we simplify this guy with our algebra, what we're going to end up with is... 3CY minus BX is equal to negative 400. Okay. Okay. Let me zoom out. Um, well, we can see also if we think about what's happening horizontally, we know that CX has to be equal to BX. Okay. And that comes from thinking about the horizontal forces. Okay, good deal. Um, now let's think about the vertical forces. Let me draw a line here. Okay, vertically I've got BY up. I've got the 400 down. And I've got CY up. Zero. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, if I uh, rearrange this just a little bit to make it look prettier, there we go. Okay. So this piece has taken us as far as we can. Uh, just looking at these last two equations here, I've got one, two, three equation, uh, three unknowns, and only two equations. So I need some more information, all right? No worries. 
I have a whole nother component. I've got a whole nother part to this structure that I can look at. So I want to get my BX and my BY on the same page here. So we made BX to the right, uh, sorry, to the left initially. So on this component, it's to the right. All right, so there's BX. And BY was up, so BY has to be down here, okay? And then, so we're going to have down here some kind of an AX and some kind of an AY. There, okay? Now that happens to be a two-force member, and that means we know the relationship geometrically between BY and BX and AX and AY. Okay, we know all that stuff there, okay? And normally what we would do is we'd come in here and we would say that tangent theta is by over bx, okay? Now we don't know theta. Um, theta would be this angle in here. So how are we gonna figure out what theta is? Well, we would go, I've got a triangle, it's three here and it's one here, and we would say that the tangent of theta is one third. Well, you know what? We actually don't care what the value of theta is, so let's just save the calculator and come up here and say that this is one third, okay? Which gives us a relationship that says that um, bx is 3by, okay? And now it turns out, now we're in business, okay? Here's why. Because what we can do is we can take this new relationship, stick it up there, like that, okay? So now we're gonna have, we can rewrite our equation here. I can say 3cy minus 3by is minus 400. Ah, nice. Okay. By, By, Cy, Cy. Two equations, two unknowns, bada bing, bada boom. Okay. And then we can just work that algebra out from there. Okay. And um, so I'm going to, I'm not going to go through that in the video. You guys know how to do that kind of thing probably have since you were probably 14 years old, right? So, um, anyway, uh, that's how you set that one up, okay? And, um, again, <clears throat> I didn't, I didn't see any of that coming, okay? I wasn't able to be like, oh, I should start here, and then it's going to go like this, and then it's going to go like this, and then it's going to go like this. No, these are too complicated. They have too many, literally too many pieces, okay? And so I was just like, well... Let's start and just go with it, okay? And you can see with my L-shaped piece, I did run into an algebraic wall, except the wall turned out to be a speed bump, all right? And so I just went and looked at my other piece, and there was the other information that I needed, and I could carry that, put it back on my first piece there, okay? And then it's all done. All righty. One more video in this section to do. See you there.